Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Justin and for today we're going to talk about identifying difference of two squares. So kailan ba natin masasabi na ang polynomial ay difference of two squares? Okay. So for a binomial to be a difference of two squares, it must satisfy these two conditions. So ano yung mga conditions na yon? So first is there must be two terms that are both perfect squares. So we have two terms, tapos yung two terms na yon they must be a perfect square, number, or expression. So, for a number to be a perfect square, ito yung listahan ng mga perfect square number. So, it is an integer being raised to 2. So, for example, 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on and so forth. Now, paano naman pag variable? So, for a variable to be a perfect square, dapat yung exponent niya ay even number. So, for example, ng mga perfect square na variable, we have x squared, x raised to 6, x raised to 8, y raised to 4, and so on and so forth. So, yun yung mga example ng mga variable na perfect square. So, dapat yung exponent nila even number. And our second condition, the operation between the two terms must be subtraction. So, dapat sub minus symbol yung makikita between the two terms. Okay. Okay. Let's have an example on how to identify difference of two squares. So let's have this six items. Let's identify which among the following is a difference of two squares. Okay, so let's have the first item. We have x squared minus 25. So para ma-identify natin kung difference of two squares siya, dapat yung first term at second term natin is perfect square. So, itong variable natin, naka raise to the power of 2. So, it is a perfect square. Yung last term natin, 25, is a perfect square. And yung operation between them is subtraction. Therefore, we can say that number 1 is a difference of 2 squares. So, yan. Next, punta tayo kay item number 2. Item number 2, we have a squared minus 8. So, first, Yung first term natin, dapat perfect square siya. So, it's a variable being raised to an even number. So, pasok siya. Perfect square siya. Yung 8, hindi siya perfect square. So, since hindi perfect square si last term, we can automatically say that this expression is not a difference of two squares. Next, let's proceed to item number 3. Item number 3, tignan natin yung first term natin. D raised to 5. So, d raised to 5, yung exponent niya hindi even. So, since hindi even number yung exponent na to, this term is not a perfect square term. Therefore, automatic, itong item number 3 is not a difference of two squares. Okay, let's proceed to item number 4. Item number 4, yung first term natin, the numerical coefficient is a perfect square. Yung variable, naka raised to an even number. So, yes. So, ibig sabihin, yung buong um, first term natin is a perfect square term. Yung last term natin, 1. 1 is a perfect square number. And the operation between them is subtraction. So, we can say that this, this polynomial is a difference of two squares. So, check yan. Okay. Next, let's proceed to item number 5. Item number 5, we have 64 plus h raised to 4. So, check natin. Yung first term, is it a perfect square number? Yes, perfect square siya. Si h raised to 4, perfect square? Yes, kasi even number yung ating exponent. So, check yan. Now, the operation between them must be subtraction. So, dito, hindi subtraction yung kanyang operation. Therefore, we can say that this is not a difference of two squares. So, yung item number 5, hindi siya difference of two squares. And next, let's proceed to item number 6. Let's check our first term. Yung first term natin, we have a numerical coefficient of 9. And 9 is a perfect square number. May variable m siya na may exponent na even. So, check rin yan. Now, yung variable n natin, okay, check natin yung exponent niya. And since our exponent is not an even number, n is not a perfect square variable. 
Since meron tayong isang factor ni first term na hindi perfect square, we can say that this monomial is not perfect square. Therefore, our item number 6 is not a difference of two squares. So let's have a recap. In order for us to say that a binomial is a difference of two squares, the first and last term must be perfect square, and the operation between the two terms must be subtraction. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. And that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace. Bye.